Hi guys, I'm here and I actually finally broke down and bought one of those car diagnostic scanners that hook up to your OBD2 reader and it's wireless and it hooks up to your phone. You could just get a phone app. Um, this is the brand I bought. It's made by Nexpow, N-E-X-P-O-W. And so this is, um, I did a little research and I kind of like this one. I got it on Amazon and actually the reason I end up choosing it too is because it was normally around 29 bucks and they had a 30 percent off and so that was i got it for like 21 22 bucks including tax so uh so let's see let's see what it comes with this is what it looks like and um i like this little nice little box it comes in it comes with a pack of instructions they're uh micro small but, um, so they got some friendly tips, product instructions. It's pretty, pretty much all straightforward. A little bit about uh, getting it synced up um, with Bluetooth to your phone. Then on the um, back side, some more instructions. And then actually what they recommend is using this app, which is uh, Torque app and that's the one I actually installed I kind of like that app they have two versions the free version which is the light version and it has some ads on the bottom and I'll show you but if you pay $4.99 you can get it cheaper it's uh, I'm not cheaper you can get it without the ads um, I didn't I'm about to break down and go ahead and do that so um, let's see it's actually the it's the warranty here the warranty is for two years so basically that's not bad so this is what you get in the box. Um, it actually came, it comes like this. Um, has this nice little handle to be able to plug it in. It plugs into your OBD2 reader um, in your car. And what's kind of nice is this has a little LED light. See, look at that. It's not very bright. I still can use a headlamp to plug it in. So um, that's that. So let me go ahead and show you the um, the app, the Torque app that um, that I'm using with this. Okay, I had an old Samsung. Actually, this is not old. It is old, but it's the phone that I use. It's a Samsung um, S5, and actually the software was able to be loaded onto this. And this is actually the same phone that I use to make all my videos, which is um, that I post on my own. Um, YouTube website so too cheap to buy a new phone so I'm using actually my son's phone which is uh, an iPhone to uh, do the recording so let's uh, get into get in there where the app is so if you have the light version this is uh, you always get this opening screen that tells you uh, hoping that you like it and if you like it so much go ahead and buy the full version um, then you can get it without the ads as well as many other features not presented in the free I have no idea what those other features are so basically I, I got this was because my car my my uh, 2009 Mini Cooper was uh, getting really warm so I wanted to really uh, check the, uh, the status so on the top here is trying to connect because I opened the app can't find it because this thing is not plugged in and you get those little icons on the upper right but um, let me go ahead and show you the screen so basically if you want to look for your Bluetooth so you got to turn on your Bluetooth turn do a search mode search for it add connect to this and then you'll go into your setup and then there's um, let's see under settings and then you go just just try it here and you can do actually faster communications um, this is where you would choose your Bluetooth device but if you already connected one time it always automatically try to connect as soon as um, you do it so let's go back so this is what I really like about it this um, this app you um let's go ahead and uh, delete this display 
So basically, you just hold your screen. You want to add a display. So there's a couple of choices, dial, graph, display, fuel, air status, widget. There's a lot of stuff on here. But what I've been using lately is because it kind of looks cool. It's just a dial. So you kind of get all these selections on um, the acceleration. I think the acceleration sensor basically just uses your phone to look at the acceleration. You got the ambient air temperature, average trip speed, barometric pressure, engine coolant. So let's go ahead and do that one again. So you can actually pick the size, small, medium, or large. So let's go ahead and do a medium on that one. So now if you want to go ahead and try and move that somewhere else, you hold it down, move display, shows a little box. So let's go ahead and move it down here. Let's go ahead and add some other um, more displays. Let's add a graph this time. So let's go with um, maybe engine RPM. Let's do a small one. And then I want to go ahead and move this. Move display. Let's go put it up here. Let's add one more. I think you're starting to get the idea here. Um, let's go ahead and do a dial again. And so let's go scroll down and kind of see what you see. Um, GPS, accuracy, um, altitude, bearing, satellites, and that's probably just taking stuff off your phone. Intake air temperature, intake manifold pressure, um, mass airflow, that's the air that's going into your, uh, into your intake. So you got your O2 sensors, all your O2 sensors here, speed, throttle position, timing advance. So let's go ahead and try to take timing advance. We'll do a small display. And I'll go ahead and move that. Now what's really cool is for this software, they actually give you seven different um, views or seven different display settings. So basically this I can set this one up. Let's say I wanted to set it all up with temperatures. That would be this one. Then I can go to another one and start it, start a different one, add display. Let's say I want to do this one has to do everything with my oops, let's see what's going on here. Add display. Oh, I have to pick. Sorry. Graph. Let's say this whole section I'm gonna do um O2 sensors. So I got that. I'm going to move this. Let's go up here and let's add another display. I'll do a dial, which is up here. And let's, let's stick with O2 stuff. So let's go with um, O2 volts or banks. Let's go bank one, sensor one, and we'll go small. So let's go ahead and move this. So it actually gives you seven. So you can sit here and make seven different menus, and that way you don't have to keep moving dials around and, and changing it up. So um, let's go back to here. So let me go ahead. Um, that's pretty much the software. And this is the item, so let's go ahead and um, pop this into the uh, Mini Cooper. Okay, it, I'm on my driver's side footwell. So this is where you're, you would plug this in, basically. So I have all these other cables, ignore that. So there's a, um, a lot of times there's a little cover here. So you just pull down that little cover and that'll give you access. This is uh, keyed. So if you look at it, okay. Actually, it's like a trapezoid. So you just have to make sure you plug it in the right direction and it should go only go in one direction. Okay, so I ran and plugged it in for, this is a 2009 Mini Cooper second generation. So, um, R56. So actually, the for this one, the 
if you get this brand it's the the little light switches on the left side here um, with it installed so let's go ahead and start up the car and um, check out the display okay let's go ahead and start up the car So here it's checking. It found the um, it found it plugged in. So it's trying to connect because you still get no data. Checking the bald rate. Oh, well, it was kind of cool when I was carrying it out. It does you can do it rotate it. So if you rotate it, my phone's slow, so then the display changes there. I'm trying to get rid of the glare here. Now, up here it said it's connected. So here I see the revs, you see the timing advance, and there's the uh, coolant. So if I step on the gas, there you go. So let me see if I could change the screen to the one with, okay, this is the one with the O2. I don't get any information on that. So I guess it all depends with your uh, car on what kind of information you might get so let's go back to the other screen do it this way probably read it better so that's the um the obd2 that i purchased that's plugged into the, my mini cooper and this is the torque app that works pretty well with it. Allows you to customize your screens, um, different ways you want to. And so, um, I think that's it. That's all I have. So hope this information helps you and thanks for watching.